Mm-hmm. And there it is. Yum. Ciao and buonasera. Welcome to Salmon Tuesday. Last mm-hmm. week, uh, Julie asked to have salmon every Tuesday. And until I run out of ideas, that's what I will be doing. <laughs> so today I will be doing tagliatelle con salmone. And uh, it's a very, very simple recipe. So it's not going to take very long at all. Great. I've got 300 grams of salmon. This is a fresh salmon which I have frozen myself and this is a salmon which I've bought previously frozen. I'll explain one in a little while. So get hold of your salmon and uh, with a knife score a little corner and uh, lift the skin slightly. Get hold of the skin with your finger and with a knife just gently start scoring through it. So you're sort of stretching out the skin, putting yes. the skin towards you. You don't need to lift the salmon at all. Mm, let's see. There it is. Well, not bad at all. Not bad at all. There is a little left which I will uh, remove as well. So here it is, all done, and I've now moved onto the stove. And I will be putting a little olive oil in a frying pan. Turn the temperature on a medium high and uh, add your salmon. Couple of cloves of garlic, just a quick crush. You can dip the skin on and add them to the salmon. While the salmon is cooking, I'm getting my tomatoes ready. These are cherry tomatoes, a couple of hundred grams, and I'm gonna be chopping them in half. Also, I've got a leftover of a chili pepper and this is very mild, so I'm going to be cutting it into small pieces and I will be adding it to my tomatoes. So back to our salmon. Once uh, you've got uh, roughly the size of a little finger that uh, has changed in colour, is when you know that uh, you can turn it around. And you should get this lovely brown uh, golden colour on uh, the top. Or the bottom. Or the bottom. Absolutely. <laughs> if you see your fingers like me, try not to burn yourself. And turn the garlic as well, by the way. And as soon as you have turned your salmon around, add your tomatoes and your chili pepper. And we are ready to put the pasta on. Hot boiling water, little salt, and I will be cooking a couple of hundred grams of uh, tagliatelle. How is it said there? Tagliatelle. What? Not, not tagliatelle. As no, they not call tagliatelle. It in no, no, tagliatelle. No, 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 no. Tagliatelle. Oh, you can call it whatever you like. It's no, just the same. No. Okay. Literally, four minutes after, I turn them around, and uh, it's cooked. So I will uh, turn the water down in the pasta. Excellent. So, back to our salmon. I will be um, whizzing half and uh, leaving half whole. So the fresh one, which I froze, is what I'll be reserving for later. And uh, the cheaper salmon is what uh, I will be whizzing. So I'll put this on one side. And I'll put the rest of uh, the salmon and uh, my tomatoes although I will be also keeping a few tomatoes on one side. In a container. I've also added the garlic and the skin. You can choose to remove if you want to. And I will be adding uh, some uh, basil. This is fresh basil. And uh, I will be putting it in and a half teaspoon of salt. Get a blender and blend away. To make the salmon even creamier, I will be using some of my cooking water and I will be adding it to the mix. Don't put too much in, otherwise it will be too liquidy. And that is perfect, nice and creamy and the starchy water will have helped. So back on the hob, and I'm going to be adding my cream now back on the same pan where I cooked the salmon. My pasta is al dente and I just drained it. 
and I'm going to be adding it to the sauce. Also, as a tip, uh, retain some of the cooking water just in case we need it and uh, turn the temperature on a medium high so that uh, everything is stabilizing together. This will not take very long, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Good, it smells so lovely. I will add just a little drop of water. And now I'm going to be serving a portion. Mm, my lord, it looks lovely. It smells, it smells so good. Make sure you scoop some of the sauce as well. Get back to your nice salmon and try and not cut it, try and remove with a knife pieces of it. Sort of flake it almost. Flake it almost indeed, yes. Sprinkle that on top. And the very, very finishing touch it's uh, oh, no, some this of is the, the penultimate finishing touch. <laughs> it's the penultimate, yes, there is a basil. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. A few tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Yum. Looks lovely. I like to add a little pepper on mine. I'm going to find a piece of salmon as well. Delicioso. <laughs> Hopefully Julie will be very happy with this. I'm I sure you will. <laughs> it smells lovely. Very simple guys, very very lovely and uh, very cheap, especially if you combine with some uh, frozen salmon for the bit you're going to be whizzing and uh, some uh, fresh salmon for the bit that you're going to be flaking off. Ciao ciao, enjoy and uh, see you later. Bye.